standing behind a podium, I like to move around a little bit and have a little fun. Um, before I get into Lone Hero, quickly, my name is Keith Sampson, and I'm from Warsaw, Indiana. And I have a passion for my family, and I have a passion for business, or two biggest areas. And beyond that, I try to combine those as much as possible. So when you met my wife, I was able to bring her on this uh, adventure. And like business, life is an adventure. So, two weeks ago, we were in LA for a taping of America's Funniest Videos. And if you watch on October 30th, you'll see me and my six-year-old twins and my wife on TV. Okay, so I like that, you know, kind of mention something like that. It's fun and like life and business is fun. I, I love what I do, okay? And I have another passion, and that is combining purpose and business. And when you can do those things, and you can get excited about what you're doing every day, and you can pass that off to your employees, and your feet hit the ground running, you know, and you're excited about what you do, it, it changes your entire perspective about what you do, life, and everything else. So I want to talk about Loan Hero, but first I want to ask a couple questions. Okay, I do uh, some general business consulting, nothing at the level that like what Mark does. Um, but my background, I spent 11 and a half years in industrial laundry, doing towels, linens, tablecloths, uniforms, mats, corporate apparel, and um, for a family of business. And along the way, moving, yourselves, or, or, or moving myself up through it, I learned a lot about strategic planning. And when I sit there and I meet with businesses on consulting, we generally talk about three different things. And a lot of this is what you guys do on an everyday basis as well. And those three categories are usually accounting and control, you know, your purchase order systems, those types of things, ARs, APs. Those are never fun, okay, to really dive into and do. Then you have your cost savings arena. Okay, you start looking at what am I buying, what am I doing, where can I save money? Okay? And a lot of times when you guys are dealing with potential customers, that's where you guys kind of fit in. Okay? You're trying to provide solutions, and yes, it's most important to take the conversation of value, just like Mark talked about, what we all talk about, that we have to not have a price-driven conversation. I would say that if you sell on price, you're going to lose on price. Okay? So you want to move that, but still, it's always part of the equation, right? So it's always a factor that plays into that selling process. And the third category when doing consulting is personally my most favorite one. And that has to do with business growth. Top line sales with a positive bottom line impact. And that's where Loan Hero comes into play. So what Loan Hero gives you is the ability to provide consumer finance solutions to your merchant. So let me ask you two questions. How many of you guys have ever walked into a business and purchased product or services using some kind of financing other than credit card or bank loan? Furniture, medical, anything like that, okay? So, how many, so keep that in the back of your mind. A lot of us have used that. On the other side of it, right now, think of all your merchants, your businesses that use you guys for credit card processing. If a customer of theirs walks in and doesn't pay with a credit card, how many of you guys make money on it? <coughs> I see no hands. That's what this changes, okay? So, we offer consumer financing solutions. It picks up where credit cards leave off. So what you're able to do, and follow my thought here is, as you kind of see what we're doing and what we're providing, you're able to change the conversation, you're able to walk into a business and give them a service that will help them grow their business, capture sales that may not have gotten captured, and in the process, you get paid, okay? You get paid on every single loan they do. So now, as we go through some of the details, think of this, if I walk into one of your merchants and I hand them a credit card, you're happy. You get a piece of that. If I walk into one of your merchants, especially on high tickets, and I fill out through GE Money, Synchrony, or whoever they may be using or not using, and I fill out a credit app, and I get 12 months savings cash, and I walk out with that $5,000 worth of furniture, you make nothing. If you're providing that solution too, now you're going to make revenue on either side of that transaction. Okay, turning merchants into heroes. And this is one of the things that we focus on when we do the sales process. Okay, uh, you know, everybody's familiar with consumer finance when you understand what it is. And usually it's top tier stuff. Okay, usually the GE money, the synchronies, those people of the world, they have an application and you either get denied or approved. And so what we have done, and I'll go through some of the details of it, is we put in multiple levels so we get higher approval rates, all right? We have multiple financing solutions. We have a mobile experience that people can either use their phone, tablets, and those types of things when doing the application process. Very painless, very easy. 
and then we have a robust regulatory compliance solution. So it keeps it all of the uh, recourse out of your guys' hands and your merchants. So financing is a big and growing opportunity. You know, point of sale, and when I talk about point of sale, it's different than the point of sale systems, okay? We're talking about it as that period of time when it happens. At the point of sale, people pay with a number of different ways. Cash, check, credit card, or financing, okay? Mm -hmm. Point of sale financing right now is at $391 billion. Credit cards is $2.4 trillion. Okay, so you can see there's a huge difference in that. 43% uh, of Americans are currently underbanked. Personally, I don't have a credit card. I have bank cards. I do everything through a very similar, a very limited uh, uh, way of uh, operating. And then 60, you goes, I heard yesterday people throwing around millennials and how to try to tap into them and how to help them out. 67% of millennials don't have credit cards. At some point in time, and I was one of those, and I remember doing the whole going to Sofa Mart and buying stuff on the 18 months, same as cash. I didn't have a credit card either that I could do that with. That was my only option to outfit my new condo that I bought. Go in and borrow money in a different way. But the system is not working for most consumers. See, what happens is most of the times consumers walk in and they fill out an application. And anymore, you know, with all the regulatory aspects of it, people, there's a lot of people that are credit challenged, okay? Uh, you fill out an application and you get either approved or denied. And borrowers have keep raising the bar. They keep wanting to see higher credit scores, and especially that's the fastest way for instant approval is through the credit score. And you might have people that are credibly challenged but can afford the payments, okay? And so what happens is they're put in this situation, they fill out an application, they turn it in, they go, I'm sorry, you're, you're I, you were, you were declined, or you only got a borrow limit of $1,000. Well, I need five. Well, let me try this other aspect. They have to fill out another application, which usually gets to the subprime level. Okay? So now you have somebody that might just be outside of that prime mark that gets declined, and they automatically get bucketed and dropped down to subprime to get what they need. And they're going to pay a much higher interest rate. And by the two apps, their credit gets dinged twice. And that merchant has to go through those extra steps. With us, it is a one app process. The app is filled out and it automatically looks at the varying factors and all the merchant has to do is come back and say, hey, you were approved. So we want to sit there and drop the balance. We want to remove that aspect of it of people getting balanced automatically down to subprime. So with us, consumers get instant approval with their terms. They don't have to sit there and the merchant isn't put in a position to discuss, here's the tier you got, or I'm sorry, you didn't qualify for this, let's, lie, let's try the alternative for the people who don't have good credit. Who wants to do that, right? And uh, so loan here removed that awkward conversation. It's quick, it's easy, and they just come back and say, here's what you're approved for, and here are your terms. They either agree or say, I, I, I'm sorry, I can't, I don't want to do that. Okay, not a problem. But it's removing the merchant from being that judging, deciding factor of whether this person can walk out the door with their products or services through this method. Loan Hero offers a win-win complete solution. The borrower gets a good APR depending on their credit score. You know, it varies on that through three different levels. The merchant gets a sale they might not have otherwise gotten. And then the lender, us, or the people that are behind us, get the kind of customers they want through that. Selling Loan Hero is easy. Like I said, it is changing the conversation. So instead of walking in the door, hey, I offer credit card services, I offer merchant services, I offer business growth solutions. I'm gonna offer things that help you capture sales that otherwise you may not be capturing, especially in a small business, okay? Some small businesses, A, they either don't have it, B, they don't market it well, okay? And we've all kind of learned and market our own businesses. So you have to be able to help teach them maybe along the way of how to use this to grow their uh, market share but it's gonna give them the ability to capture sales they didn't capture before. So essentially, all you guys have to do in it is go and hey, I offer this. We help sell it for you, okay? Loan Hero will get on the conference call, we will explain the program, we will answer questions. And you can either be present in that or not present in it, you can have as much involvement or as little involvement as possible, whether it's just opening up the door and passing it off, and then it, it's your sale. The merchant has no monthly fees, no licensing fees, no equipment fees, no support fees, and on top of that, no setup fees. And so that is, that's a big difference in our industry. In our industry, generally somebody gets set up with any kind of consumer financing solutions, they're paying $4.99 to get set up with it. 
they might be paying whether they write loans or not a certain monthly support fee. With us, there's nothing. And in fact, agents that sell Loan Hero aren't even allowed to, to charge a setup fee. And I know that sounds weird because you guys are all looking at ways to make money, but if you look at the bigger picture of things, it serves you guys as being a consultant, right? It serves you guys as being able to open the door, being that person. So let's say you can't get the merchant services yet, but you can get this. And now you're providing at least one solution, one service in that business, and when the merchant services comes around, you're there waiting. You've become a person, instead of this guy or person that takes care of this aspect of it, here's a person that helped me make more money, grow my business, and became a valuable consultant. Oh, and you do merchant services too? Here you go. You get that business along the way. We provide white glove support for optimized deal flows. It is super, super easy. We enroll the merchant. We uh, do all of our due diligence on it. We do handle all the underwriting and pre-screening. We give the approval support and we educate. We train. We train you guys. We have training solutions for that. We have training solutions for the merchants. Creating a, tr a streamlined transaction for all users. So, and this is where it really, really, really is. It is not a paper app. We have those, but we try to do everything automated. Consumer can sit there and get on their phone while they're standing in line and waiting, or in a waiting room of a metal, uh, a mental, mental. My wife does mental therapy, so it kind of pops in medical uh, area. Okay, and they can sit there and provide, and sit there and get online and uh, and and app themselves. So the bar application submitted it at the point of sale. The application submitted to us and it comes instant approval. The lender then is offered the buyer at the point of sale back. The borrower finalizes the purchase and the, and the settlement to the merchant, less discount rates in two days. So I want to compare this. How many of you guys are familiar with care credit? Let's say in the medical realm. Okay. Uh, care credit is a revolving debt. If I go in and I get a care credit card uh, because I need dental work done, and they might approve me for five thousand dollars. How am I doing on time, by the way? No, keep going. I'm going. Okay. Um, I might get approved for five thousand dollars for this dental work. I go in and I use it. I still have that open on my credit report and everything else. Now, the good thing about it is I might go into my eye doctor that takes care of credit. I might have to get some kind of outpatient surgery that takes care. Of I have it set up. Okay. The bad side of that, again, it's sitting as revolving open debt on my credit. The bad side for the merchant is they go through that work, the dentist goes through that work to get that person approved, do all that thing, and then I have my account now with care credit and I decide I'm gonna to go to this dentist instead. Okay, they can walk with that account. Our system is merchant specific installment loans. So once you get, if you have to go and get dental work and it's $2,300, you're not getting approved for five, it's getting approved and that's part of the services that you're paying for, for that amount, it is funded directly to the merchant. It is not funded to the consumer then to spend where they want. It goes to the merchant. That person is on, you know, they're liable for that loan now. They have to go there and use those services or buy that product. Uh, with a streamlined technology, uh, the merchant has the ability to do all their online uh, verification. They can do all their processing, open loans, what's kind of going on with a variety of things. Uh, you guys uh, have Full, tons of industries to target. And what I have back there, if you haven't stopped by the table, I think this is what they get to pass around. There are two sheets, okay, and this, I want to make sure you grab both of them, of our approved industries. Front and back, there's three of those, and then we have restricted industries. There aren't many restricted industries, but they are out there. And a lot of this stuff has to do with lending regulations, what can be borrowed against, not against, and honestly, what makes sense. You know, for example, um, attorneys and paralegal. We're not going to lend money to somebody who might be sitting in jail for the next five years and not able to retain their loan, right? So, you know, don't call attorneys for this product. But some of the, I would have to say, without getting into all of these, the two biggest areas for opportunity for this is home improvement and medical. Okay, home improvement, and we have we can bar, lend out up to twenty-five thousand dollars. Okay, so imagine getting a percentage of that on a twenty-five thousand dollar loan. Same thing with medical. Okay, and with all the changes that are going on with insurance and this and everything else, we have a lot of people out there left in this gap of how do I pay for my services that I'm about ready to get, whether it's elective or not elective. I might have a $5,000 copay. My insurance is picking up the rest after that, but I have $573 in my bank account. How am I gonna pay my $5,000 copay? This is the opportunity to get into industries that you guys may not have gotten into. 
They might have their merchant services tied up in their software, in their uh, greater umbrella of certain things when you come into the medical fields of like Lutheran Health Network, you know, they can't deviate from any of that stuff. But they do have the power to provide some solutions to their customers. And you can get in there and capture on that. Um, why do merchant acquirers and ISOs work with Lone Hero? Again, the recap, you guys get to lead with a new innovative product. You get to target and retarget new merchants. So you can take this back to your existing customers. You can take it to new customers you're cold calling. Heck, you can take it back to customers that shot you down before. And you get to take it to a different approach. And they might have liked you, but they couldn't make any change. They couldn't use you for anything for one reason or another. You can bring something to them that can provide them help and relief. Uh, and help retain existing merchants. Again, moving into and providing a solution that helps make them money is a lot more fun than them doing something as, even though this person's great, they always answer my calls, they've provided me and done a good job with this, but in their mind, it is still an expense. Sell more merchant processing services through it and reduce attrition. So the future of Loan Hero, we are working on making it easier and easier to A, for you guys to sell, B, for merchants to use. So how many of you guys are familiar with Point? I don't think that's a device that you guys have brought on board yet. No. Anybody familiar with Point? No. Okay. Very similar to Clover. So I can use Clover as, a, as an example. We've been working on both Clover and Point to have an app develop into it. So just like they have the Clover has the store. So now imagine I'm walking in the door in the merchant services realm and I'm providing a, a device, not a credit card processing platform, not just a consumer finance platform, but I'm providing a device solution. Think of it as, um, how many of you still have flip phones in here? Don't waste your hand. hand. You have two of them? <laughs> okay. You know, back in the day, I had the Razor, had the Nokia, and I've got the, you know, the iPhone, like everybody. Okay. Devices in the merchant services world is moving the same way. You know, the VX520, as great as it is, will only ever print. It will never text or email that receipt. Okay, you can't put, other than a gift card app or something like that on, you can't put Loan Hero on a VX520. So, you have the ability to walk in and sell a business solution with a device that not only does the credit card processing, that not only increases the image of that merchant, providing more options to their consumers to receive their information and their receipts, but also have the application process for consumer financing on it. So imagine, if you will, that person, well, I need to pay for this $2,500 thing. Not a problem. How would you like to pay for that? Cash, credit, charge, or our consumer financing? Oh, what's your consumer financing? Click, go ahead and start filling out the fields. And they sit there and they start doing it. And it's all right there on it. So the future of this, like again, kind of changing the conversation, this gets really, really, really exciting when you start going down some of these other potentials and it not just being about rate, not just being about price. So come visit the booth, okay? Absolutely important that if you don't have one already, get one of these pages, fill it out, okay? Give it to me. Yeah, I we didn't pass those out. If you're interested in this, go to the booth and there's a form if, for those in the room that are interested in selling this product. Fill out that form. Yes. Okay. And, uh, give me and that comes to Jenny. Yeah. Yep. Um, I, I will collect them all. I will give them to Jenny so that way she can go through and make sure all the information on here is accurate for your guys' own setup. I'll take those back and I'll get everybody all set up with their back end office and everything else. Mm -hmm. One more quick thing. The reason why this is important, and you guys, all, a lot of you raise your hands and you're familiar with Care Credit. Okay? Would any of you, if you've been able to get involved with Care Credit, selling Care Credit, what, I don't know, 20, 30 years ago, whenever they started, how many of you guys would have done that knowing where they are today? Oh, yeah. Okay? That's the opportunity you have here. And in August, we just got set up as the only option for stem cell therapies. So right now, if a consumer has to get stem cell therapy and they need financing for that, there is no other option except Lone Hero. That's the direction that we're going with new emerging medicine options. And again, and the medical is absolutely huge on this. But from, it has to be $1,000 or over. So Correct. It for that visit to the doctor. Yeah, yeah. It's not, I mean, it's not a $50 visit to the doctor. No, I mean, it is somebody looking at $1,000 or more, bill, copay. <laughs> Keith, what kind of money is in it for us? Yeah. Well, that's all being set up under the code card. They worked out, but yeah. honestly, I have no clue. I okay. can't answer that question. Uh, we got it. I it's, it's, it's a big money maker. When you yes. look at all of our arena if products in this arena, whether it be cabbage, GPR funding, for those of you that have dipped your toe in some of this stuff, 
you go, whoa, there's a lot more money to make here than 20, 30 basis points. But it's also opening the door. Yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah, the big money maker. Yeah. Okay. You set up a merchant, and the consumer goes ahead and fills out the application. What or whatever they have to fill out. How long does it take from that moment till they get approved or disapproved so that the doctor's office or the furniture instant. store? Yeah. The approval's instant, instant, and the funding is two days to the merchant. Two days to the funding, okay. Yeah, okay. And then if you have questions, then it'll but let's just get a couple more. Sure. Go ahead, Scott. Well, actually, I'll be a relationship with a service uh, station with sure. you know, like 200 people. So it's on that. Yeah. Two yeah. quick questions would be I one. So, uh, they get approved for the bills for two thousand dollars. Does the, the client get? Does our, our merchant no, get exactly two thousand dollars? Or does no? I will I will talk about that real quick. The merchant pays a discount fee, okay, and based on the program they're offering. And it can vary. If they offer just an installment loan, up to twenty four months no interest. That discount fee will change based on yeah. what so they the, want it's, to promote. It's like a, a daily it's like deposit cash. Like they the, get the money like, less yeah. their percentage. Yeah, so yeah. if you swipe a card and they're at a three percent effective rate, they're already paying three percent if it's paid with a credit card. So I mean, right. it's very similar. And the other quick follow up that would be for a service station who obviously doesn't have all this other stuff. How do they know that I just filled this out? I can prove for you know the bill to be paid. How does Joe, uh, you know, Johnny Garage know that you got to prove that's going to go to them? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, that's part of the that's part of the training. Is it no? Go to the webinar training. They they know instantly. Yeah, that line. Like, go ahead, Dan. They'll be able to communicate that. Yeah. Two questions: Does the merchant have any chargeback liability response? No recourse to the merchant. No recourse to you guys. Good and, question. And, and uh, maybe this might be your next question. You guys make money as long as they're doing loans. You don't have to do anything else after this. Okay. Once you have them set up and you sign up this merchant and they start writing writing five loans a month. As long as they're doing that, you're making a you're making a percentage of that every single loan. Yeah. They do it ten years down the road, you're still making money. Why are tires excluded without auto repair? They're not big enough. No, they are big. I, some of that stuff is has to do with individual states regulatory stuff. And like for the longest time, like rims and tires just weren't on it. Okay, I mean, one more question. It's kind of. Good. I met these guys at the uh, conference, the last conference we had, and I started using them. They're super competitive in the medical market, sometimes as much as 300 basis points cheaper than care credit in some verticals. Um, it was a simple process to onboard a, a client. You can use a referral method or they have a back office that you can input everything in. Um, good testimonial. Yeah, yep. it was really good. Good All stuff. Right. Keith, let's give him a hand. Keith, good job.